day that I walk past, each day that I go past, the Lord is tearing this place down. And I pick my steady word about fucking vanity. And really, like when, when Dice said, Kennedy, thou shall be destroyed. He's, he's gonna come back as a thief in the night. And I and our people are just keep putting off, not trying to repent. Men and adultery is being wicked, you know? And the Lord gonna the Lord gonna kill you. Then. I got something back to you on, brother. This is the book of Amos 9 and 10. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Why these guys out here thinking nothing is not going to happen to you? How about you not trying to surprise them? You know? You know, you see people die by, you know, by, by the end, but wait till people start dying by the hundreds. You know? Wait till the Lord really bring his full sword judgments out. This is about the Uh, Sirach chapter 5 verse 1 set thy heart upon thy good and say not I have enough for my life for not thy own mind and thy own strength to walk in the ways of thy heart and say not who shall control me for my work for the Lord shall surely revenge thy pride say not right so you're not you're not escaping from the Lord man all right what, what the nigga people say God bless all the trap niggas no man you, you fall into the trap of the priest that's 11, I believe. Because since it doesn't keep working in that huge the hearts of the son of men are set to be wicked. Alright, but judgment's gonna come. It's why to grab that Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil working is not executed. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, as days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, with fear, with fear before Him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fear not before the Most High. God, so look, you ain't getting away with anything. All right, the Lord is really, when you better get cast out right away. Now, you just, now the Lord is just allowing you to build your tab up. You said that in uh, second Matthew 6, chapter. That's the soul. That's how, how, that's how you know that there's no escape in the Lord, man. All right, the Lord is just letting your wickedness stack up. So he can ultimately judge you, man. On that's, the flip side. That's the worst thing the Lord can do to you. Yeah. And on the flip side, when we fuck up, and the Lord judges us right away. We are chastening, we are chastening with the Lord. We're not judging the world. That's right. Yep. It's, it's, it's that hedge that the Lord gives us to keep us in straight. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's This is Sirach 5 and 4. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Concerning the portentations, be not without fear to ask sin unto sin. Huh, concerning the propitiation, you know, because the, the, the Lord is merciful. The Lord will forgive, but don't just think you can just do what you want to do and not work and not fear the Lord and just keep doing wickedness. You know? Hell no, man. It talks about it's another scripture right that says the uh, the wicked should not escape with his spoils. Oh, it's not sick to the Oh, that's right this is Sirach 5 and 5, but not Sirach 5 and 6. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude for my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation rested from my sins. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord be Thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Nah, it says suddenly the Lord will come in. That's why I'm just going to say, seek the Lord while he may be found. Alright, so you think you can just do what you want to do and live it up? Wait till your death is to return to the Lord? It don't work that way, man. It says without faith, it's impossible to believe them. It says faith is the such of uh, hope is the such of things. Faith is the such of things hoped for. That means the things not seen. So once shit start happening, it's too late. That's Proverbs 1. And with the uh, scripture attempting to say, uh, silly women late with fear. That's what Jake do. They get old age. They know they're going to meet their mechanized. They won't 
call it stuff get right, but you're still off, man. And I don't want to go to church with all that stupid bullshit, man. And that's why they end up falling for every other uh, bullshit philosophy. Because you turn to the Lord at the wrong time. Well, they have yeah. itching ears. They don't want to serve the Lord, man. Because what had, what comes to serve the Lord? Changing your ways. You know, that's John the third chapter. They don't want their needs to be improved. So they run from the right. They want to do their business. They want to live in the It's true, man. It's a standard. It requires discipline. As the elders said, change. You know, you got to resist the temptation. And these people don't want to do that. They want to, as the elders say, Benji said it. They want to continue to live in the flesh. It's easy to live in the flesh. Brothers, we don't wish that our brother would fall. That's written in the scriptures, man. Right? Now, but you, 
you have a difference between a false brother and a real brother, a brother that could just be in a low estate. Nevertheless, we don't know until that time comes and we, we send up those prayers and the Lord, he has the final say so. But if that guy is a nigga, he's not going to escape. I got something real quick. This is the book of, this is the book of Sirach 23 and 19. It says, such as a man only feared the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 uh, 10, times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Right, so the Lord knows what you do at all times. You know? There's no escape from me. How about shooting down a shot? But the Lord knows what you're doing at all times. You can't escape. So Rock 8 and 12, you're a sinner do evil a hundred times, and the day be prolonged, Yes, surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the That's a piece of ass, not See that? Yeah, please. Go do evil. See that age well. Go sin do evil a hundred times in the day be prolonged. And surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high. Fear before him, man. Hey, nobody's gonna escape. Hey, the local bring all your work with be good or bad. It's a judgment, man. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that every man, no, nah, that every one may receive the things that are done in his body according to he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we, put, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also made manifest in your conscience. Huh. So, <laughs> the Lord is bringing judgment. There's reward for the righteous, the good, those who do the, 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 the good works of the Lord, and then there's a, a judgment for those who don't, man. All right? And knowing that fear, knowing that the Lord is bringing judgment, well, well as the options go, it's life or death. All right? To so fear death, it's to serve the Lord to receive life, man. Point blank, period, man. Who wants to? Hey, it says the Lord can reward you in the day of your death. The Lord can have you go out in a terrible way. The Lord can have a half a second feel like a hundred years. That's right. And that's what's coming, man. That thumb looking to fire ain't gonna be. It's nothing light. And then for you to be there to go through and make it to that judgment and receive that judgment, you went through all manner of hell. All oh, manner of hell, man. A lot of motherfuckers don't understand that. And then after that. You got everlasting shame and contempt. Yeah. It just ain't, ain't no point of work for you. It's nothing that it's nothing that should be persuading you to be a wicked ass nigga except you ain't one of the men you The Lord ain't dealing with you. Outside of that, this judgment are too it's too harsh, man. And it's too real. And you see the prophecies being manifested daily. So what's next? The judgment. Please you ask 12 and 14. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, man. All right, the Lord required that with his task, man. All right, so whatever you've done, the Lord's gonna be um, 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 required that from you, man. You know? This is the book of 2 Peter uh, 3, and I'm gonna start at 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but it's long suffering toward us. Starting at 7. Huh. It's the book of 2 Peter 3 and 7. It says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now in the It's the book of 2 Peter 3 and 6. It says, uh, whereby the world started at 5. Started at 5. That's all. They say the Lord has been going on like this for this whole time. And you know, and see, when you read this, you actually got to understand this is the niggas, man. Only niggas say that. That's the thought of Mr. Niggas, man. Oh, they've been saying this is my grandmama's alive. Yep. They've been saying, look, hey, look, nigga. They've been saying it for over 2,000 years. Hey, back him up, too. Get that Hebrews 1 and 1. Go, go read that. Can I start at 3? You can start at 1. Uh, this the book. Matter of fact, what was the first point you was getting at? Uh, uh, I was trying to you know, read what's not, but it's all good. Start at 9 and jump back up at 1. Uh, this the book of 2 Peter 3 and 9. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But it's long suffering toward us because the Lord didn't destroy this place yet because he got to seal his elect. Then he had to wake the elect up at the end of the days 
to get this message spread out through what the scripture referred to as a unicorn, the World Wide Web, one horn, that satellite technology. But go ahead. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And that going to the elect being sealed. That ain't talking right. about the Lord coming to save everybody. Because the Lord is about to get rid of you niggas. Yep. That's in Revelation 7 chapter. Uh, the Lord said, told the angels, don't let the winds go to you, son of my elect. That's right. That's right. And that's that destroying wind. That's right. That's that destroying wind that they holding back. Menace. All those calamities. What you say, Lord? Menace. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead. Uh, Second Peter's three and uh, three. Nah, one. Oh, one. I'll see it's like it. Second Peter's three and uh, one. It says, "This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance." Mm. It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before uh, before by the holy prophets. Wait a minute, by the holy prophets. That's why I said in Habakkuk, make this vision plain upon tables, that he may take it and read it. That's why I said in Jeremiah the 28th chapter, the prophets that were before me and the prophets that are before thee spoke against, not with, no prosperity, no, uh, what's that bitch ass nigga, that Muslim, Brother Rizzo, generational wealth. No! No! 19 keys, that more science bullshit. No! The Lord spoke against many great kingdoms, and it's the greatest kingdom that ever been set up. That's right. The Lord got to destroy this wicked motherfucker. Go ahead. It says, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. It says, verse 3, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days. Scoffers, hey, 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 hold on, and that's why so many of you niggas talk shit. That's why you come up here against this truth. Right. They never do that against the Christians. Cause it's they a don't lot. do that against the Muslims. Nope. They don't do that against even trouble witness. They may not open the door and they make a joke, but they don't come and talk shit about them. Not them they don't niggas. Them. Black, the black. What that bullshit? The black woman is God. That bitch ain't even got her own hair on her head. <laughs> that black bitch ain't got her own hair on her head. Get the fuck out of here. Go ahead. It says, knowing this verse, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. It says, verse 4, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of, create, of the creation. Who got the Hebrews 1 and 1? I got Read it. that real quick. This is Hebrews 1 and 1. Most high, who, who has sun dry times, and the divers matter spake and past in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. There you go. Keep reading. Read one more. Have in these last days spoken, spoken unto us, wait, spoken unto us by his son, whom have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made, by the, made the word the world, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of, of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. <clears throat> That's it? No, I'm keep going. I mean, the point was that yeah, too. That was the point. The point was that too. But that's the point, man. The last days. So it's over 2,000 years ago he said it was the last days. That was the end. That was the beginning of the end. That's right. We are living in the end of the end, and it's evident. The right. prophecy is being mounted. No, go ahead. Go when you read in the second address, he asked him about the time. He said the world is split into 12 ages, basically. All right? We at the end of that. Yeah. It's the end times. It's that simple, man. Yep. That's the end of this world. This age. Yep. The age of the so-called white man. Yep. Yep. And in, uh, in diverse times, man. Each and every time a kingdom was going down, the Lord had the prophets out there speaking the downfall of one kingdom and the, and the, the uh, uprising of another. This right. just so happens to be ours. That's, that's right. That's the only difference. This is the last time. Yep. Because this is our time, which means it's the Lord's time. Go ahead, finish that up. Second Peter 3 and 5, it says, For this they willingly are ignorant of. Willingly. Hold on, willingly. Willingly. Hey, the average nigga know adultery is wicked. The average nigga know he's supposed to have a fucking beard on his face. They rap about it. They, they say, rap. They, say they, know, they know they're going to go in hell. Yeah. But you, we know what hell is. Know, but they don't know no better on that part. But they say they know that they deserve judgment from the Lord. Yeah, this day used to be a song called "What's Happening," and uh, it came out like 2005. 
But the nigga I said, know. oh my grandma, nigga, I know I'm going to hell, so what's happening there? What's this, the niggas, man? Niggas. A group of fucking niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hate niggas too. <laughs> but where that white bitch at? It says, uh, that by the word of Yahweh, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Right, just like the scriptures say, you know, what is this proverb in, uh, in Israel? Uh, I forget how it's quoted exactly, but... Uh, Ezekiel 12, just grab it for him, back his brother up. And it says, um, verse 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water and perish. Right, so the world of the blood, they, they the same power that about the flood, you think about going to Again, bring destruction again? Yeah. This place is evil just like then. Uh, what did it say? They, are they harsh as only evil men? That's all they imagine. Same continue. thing happening now. Yeah, continue to watch. Just going on. They just find on. new ways to bring wickedness, man. You got dudes becoming women, or dressing like women, I should say, that get with a woman that's dressing like a dude. That, that, what, what's, what the fuck's the point? That punk the way away. You know? His son is a uh, little dude becoming a little chick and he dates a little chick becoming a little dude. Weird. <laughs> that's not that's not even that's just this one. That's, right. that's right. not some tip of the ice button. You niggas are filthy man. That's some ass back of ass shit. Yeah. Why one of the many reasons why we were during come back and bring that judgment. This place so wicked, it turns straight sexual. That's a dude and a woman. How y'all switching up to that for you? Really? That's really how right. You just a dude with a chick. Right. But she wants to be the dude, and you want. Like, look, this is just madness. Go ahead with this. What is that? It says, uh, oh, second. Boy, you gotta come back. He got to. He got to, man. Yeah, say no flesh like, be saved. I was just recording, man. This is the book of uh, 2 Peter 3 and uh, 6. It says, Well, by the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. It says, Verse 7, But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of godly men. And see, he destroyed it with water. And, and he put a rainbow that he had never destroyed with water again. But the so-called white man put a rainbow up and said it was his pride. Because the so-called white man don't believe that the Lord is going to destroy this place again. He thinks that he's going to rule over us forever. But you know what? He's going to destroy it with fire. That's why when you watch that movie with that nigga uh, Spider-Man, the, the, the recent one, when Mysterio was making them, them images and shit, who was the last one? It was fire. When they told, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was spinning their ass, but when they told the story, it was true. He said, this is the strongest out of the elements, and this is going to be the destroyer. This is going to be the one that takes over and destroys the whole earth. But that's because it's going to destroy this age. Fire is going to be the end to the age of the self-proclaimed white man. Facts. So they ain't going to have to worry about a motherfucking rainbow. They got to worry about thermonuclear missiles. Those arrows, as the Holy Bible says, being shot from one end of the earth to another. So that's the definition of intercontinental. That's right. right. From one land to another land, intercontinental. Yeah. So you shoot a missile from, you shoot a missile from uh, uh, India to Europe. That's the same land mass. Regardless, y'all say it's two different continents. That land connects. All right, America's on the other side of the world. That's the intercontinental. This place is gonna be destroyed. One end of Earth even to the other. Perfect. Can I uh, get this for you? Of course. This is the book of Malachi for one. Okay. This is the book of Malachi 4, 1 says, For behold, the day coming, that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root, uh, neither root nor branch. And it goes perfectly with that Isaiah 34 chapter. You know, how this place is going to be burning from generation to generation. You know, it's a smoke. A place of smoke. Niggas love talking about a motherfucker getting smoked. America getting smoked. We gonna be smoking on Lady Liberty. <laughs> that bitch Lady getting Pat. smoked. Lady Pat. <laughs> this is not. No, let him finish this too. This is the book of Second Peter's uh, three and uh, uh, eight. It says, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing: that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day." So the Lord ain't forget. The 
We read Ecclesiastes, he said he required that which is past. So when you talk about hardcore slavery, you know, all the shit you did to us in the 60s, the 50s, the 70s, the 1900s, the 1700s, that shit ain't even like a day old to the Lord. Go right. ahead. It says, uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It says, verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what matter of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And I believe going into that word conversation is at a strong point. You know, what goes into your conduct. It's your conduct. Yep. How the way you live. You know? It says, uh, verse 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that's what's going to come. Uh, that's what's coming. You know, in the midst of this third world war, you know, which is going right now. Oh, yeah. Between Russia, what's that Ezekiel 38 between Russia? Russia is gathering up its allies to come against America. You know, even NATO is going to turn against this war. You know, burn up the fight. That's what to say. Whatever, just bring them out. This is, um, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. Before, behold, I created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that and that bringeth forth the instrument for his works, and I have created the waster to destroy. It. No weapon that is no weapon that is formed against it. So, like, so that, that, that's that's nozzle. The Lord gave his spirit out, the wisdom out, Job 30 to 8. Somebody read Job 30 to 8 real quick. All right. Job 30 to 8. Yeah. Spirit of man and the inspiration of the Almighty gives him understanding. This is the book of Job 32 and 8. It says, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Right. So the Lord put the spirit on those scientists, those nuclear physicists or whatever, to split the atom, put the spirit on them to turn that into a weapon, all right, for his purpose. For his destruction, man. All right, the Lord gave the understanding out. So he lets you know that it's a man-made thing. Hey, somebody grabbing the Job a bow of steel, I believe it's Job 30. You know, grab that. So the Lord gave gave man understanding to bring their own destruction. And then throw in the mix, the Lord is gonna come with his chariots and put his spirit in that fire, man. You know? This is Job, I'm gonna start at 23, 22. In the fullness of his- Paul, chapter. Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Right, and that wicked right there goes to the Hebrew, which means wretched or laborers. And that's what we see now. That's that right. goes to the back of the second chapter. These heathens are really turning sour against Esau, man. That's right. Especially, you know, the face of the company, America. So they, they, they ready to turn up against this bitch. Hey, that goes to Jeremiah. So I can hold it on deck. All you that been in a boat pointed towards Babylon. The Lord told you that he was going to bring the destruction. <laughs> All right, and they got the capability now, man. You know, hey, three thousand years ago, they didn't have the, the the ability to shoot a fucking arrow from one end to another. And if somebody was strong enough, all right, say the mighty Murphy was able to shoot that bitch, all right, it wouldn't have caused destruction. It would have been one little ass arrow. All right, but these missiles, these missiles, all right, they can go from one end to another and bring mass destruction. As it said, the waste to destroy. Don't they even call some destroyer missiles or wasters? Come on, man. It says, verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Right, he's something they're going to set up their whole plan, the whole world, and just go along with this shit. No, man. The world is going to turn south. Even your old allies, even your old fellow Edomites are going to turn south of this to America. Yeah, they're under 99%. You know, because they're going to the laborers too in that, man. You got these um, Bible Belt crackers. They ain't going for that shit. They don't like the white man. And they fight as all hell. They don't like the agenda that he pushes. They, 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 they don't like them. They call them left. So as soon as they come and say some shit, you left this purple haired bitch. They, uh, hey, they, and better than that, I'm a, for them. and better than that, better than the wasted and the uh, destroyer, one thing the so called white man always called the bitches is the arrow here. Yeah. They showed you that in that movie with all the source of nigga, True Lies, and in that movie with that nigga Christian Slater. 
broken arrow. Well, they, they took the missile. When the missile goes missing, it's called a broken arrow. There right. you go. And shall rain it upon him. Why so it's going to come down from the sky. My sword shall be bathed in thy silver face. My sword shall be bathed in heaven. It shall come down upon thy While he is eating. <laughs> Do you think you're going to uh, get to enjoy your labors? You finally conquered the world. You got everybody on a fiat banking system. They're going to just be under you and serve you. No, it's going to work that way. Take your chip. No, man. Not going to happen. You're going to enforce it. You're going to mandate it. All right, but the Lord is going to come and destroy your ass in the midst of it. And he's gonna have the heathens turn on you in the midst of it. Right. Filthy ass. Because Proverbs 20, what is it, 20, 21? Uh, the Lord controlled the hearts of the kings, man. Uh, he turned the winds whatever he wanted. Uh, <laughs> what, what, Revelation 17, it says that the kings gave their power over to you for the Lord's purpose. Verse 24, he shall also, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. So it's letting you know that this ain't talking about a regular arrow, man. It got iron on it, got metal works in it, man. All right, then what's that? The nukes. Keep going. All darkness shall be hid in secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. Nah, and it, it is a detonated system that doesn't require a fire initially. All right, it's nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion. One of them always just seems like I think nothing. But either way, it's, it's not a, a, a light system with a, with a fire. They, they crash to each other and cause a massive explosion. It's energy. The power of the sun is sixty, man. Because the sun right. runs on whichever one is not. So if the sun is nuclear fusion, those missiles are nuclear fission. If the sun is nuclear fission, the nukes are nuclear fusion. It's sunny deep, bro. Facts. That wicked ass. That commercial will happen and shake them. He got and he said it blow. He said we harness the power of the sun. Oh my god. That that going to he's all wicked, man. This is addiction so wicked. For a number of reasons.
and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And as the, uh, you know, the apostles okay. will say, this is the Sarah Cotton Street, man. Okay? You know, if you've seen uh, uh, Terminator 2, all right? You know, she had that dream, that vision, and she was at the park, and then when that I was was missing, that shit the other she day. was holding the, the fence, and her, her flesh was just, you know, uh, 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 coming right out of her. You know, she was completely through, like this Edomite. Hey. All right? Thank you. Oh, you're looking good. Thank you. Where you from? Oh, boy. Heaven. From? Heaven. Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem, huh? Yeah. Amen. For sure. I'm a follower of uh, Jesus Christ. You are? That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Abraham was our father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right about you that. You too. Thank you. Medallion onions. They smell like all type of shit that's unlawful. That's spicy. Unlawful, bro. Abomination, bro. No, that ain't spicy. That shit, they smell like. Don't you put that on me, Richie, bro. Oh, matter of abomination, yeah. It's the book of Isaiah 34, and I'm going to start at. I'm going to start at. Put that curse on me, Richie. I'm going to start at 3. This is the book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah 34, and 3. It says, Their slain also shall be cast out, and their sting shall come up. It says, out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Mm. It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Talking about that mushroom, that mushroom. That's right. That's right. It says, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf fall off from the vine, and as the falling fig from the fig tree. Because if you look at a fig, you will see it's curved, it's curved over, you know, put it to those loops. Yeah, so that's right. Yep. And, and it's, that's that arch, like the loops, they go up and they arch over. And it says, um, verse 5, it says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon thy dominion, and upon the people of my curse and judgment. Why is it going to come down upon these Edomites and the west of these people? Right. You know? And it says, uh, verse 6, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the fat of the kidneys of rams. Just like this, uh, the, the video that the video. I believe he's an elder of Fox and I think he did it yesterday. He said, the Lord, with us, the Lord willing to be uh, of the elect. We got a sacrifice for the boys. Now, the people who don't have that sacrifice, if they be two thirds, they're going to be the sacrifice. They got to, yeah. They, they're going to be those goats. That's you right. Know, that that goats on my left hand yeah. side, man. Hey, yeah, Isaiah 63. You also had the sacrifice in Basra. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's how I brought it down to you. in the heat. <laughs> in the heat. Uh, Lord has been pushing his word out there, repentance, for over 2,000 years. And these niggas don't want to get right, man. To hell with them. Hell, they didn't want to, they went straight to serve in the calf. We got brought of Egypt. Immediately. Man, the Lord, like, we want to know what, no part of that bullshit, man. Hey, you remember when that nigga, um, Jeroboam, what, what Solomon said was real bone, right? Yes. Right, so the king of the northern kingdom was Jeroboam. Yep. He did the same shit, bro. Yep. The Lord sent the prophet, told him he was going to take the bigger part of the kingdom. Then when the people came to him, he like, man, let me make these golden calves or they're going to turn them back to the Lord and ride with real bone. Yep. Jake, just, you can't stop these niggas, man. They got to die, bro. That's why it says in Isaiah, why would I be shrinking anymore, man? These niggas just gotta go. Right, right. Go ahead, uh, whoever had that. I got it. Proverbs 21 and 18. Nick. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous, 
and the transgressor for the upright. There you go. So they got they gonna die. Alright, and, and you are willing to reflect, man. We're gonna live, man. The blood gotta be shed. Sure. The Lord is about balance and duality. And that's the book of Psalm 18, it was accepted of the of the right uh, of the righteous, both the salvation right. of the righteous and the judge of the wicked. You know? The Lord is, a, is about is about balance. Salvation wouldn't be salvation if there was no destruction going on. They say, I'm a work your work in your day that you should not believe, though I'll be told you. That's it. Yep. Because like, Esau expect anybody to be out here doing anything but this. And I want to say Esau, because he's the one who actually knows outside of us. There's two people that know what's going on on the earth. That's the elite and the elect. And they know once they see this, that's coming. <laughs> it's what? no stopping that. But we hustling to be a part of it. So yeah, I, I, no, you're good, brother. You're good, brother. You're good. And Revelation 11 says that they stood in great fear that saw them stand upon their feet. That's right. They scared. And Esau was shaking his boots, man. You know, he see the men of the Lord out here prophesying against his That's right. And what makes it crazy is he can't stop it. He That's wants to it. so bad. Man. He can't stop it. Remind me of that, uh, that, little, that little YouTube clip, Jake took where uh, Hitler was in that movie having that speech. But they put the subtitles different to where he was... Uh, they have the 12th Christ sign too. Mm. Mm. That's that. Uh, if anybody watching got that, man, put that on the comment board. Mm. But uh, I've been looking for that for a minute. That's really the spirit that these Edomites be in, man. Yeah. It is. The jig is up. It is. They be sitting around at their round table. That's why I said in Isaiah, um, they say go to their pronouncicators, go to their monthly astrologers. They really be sitting around trying to conjure up shit together and they can't get it no more. Yeah. yeah, you get a couple of niggas to sell out. Granted, that's everywhere. That's part of the prophecy. Yeah, we, we don't care about that. We looking for a niggas to do that. But you can't, you can't snap. Hey, look, man, my brother Yanagi is said it best. If you wanted an elect, you can't do nothing to not be it. If you wanted a two thirds, you can't be nothing to not be a fucking two thirds. It's done. Go ahead, bro. This the book of Second Corinthians thirteen. Very clear. <laughs> this is the book of 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. It says, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Like these elites trying to, you know, you know use different tactics to, you know, to, uh, to, you know, to stop, to try to stop the uh, truth from being, you know, mainstream. You know, but what? Everything they do is, it, it, it catches them too far, you know? You know, they try to use these different steps to use them as they do, but what? The truth is being spread by the people. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such hath afflicted him and made no account of his labors. See, because when you look at these concrete, when you look at this street, when you look at these structures, these buildings, uh, niggas built all this, man. 
Yep. Right. World trade. That was right. built off the back of niggas because what made America great was uh, textiles, cotton. And how did they harvest these things? To, to, they didn't have manufacturing plants. We was the fucking manufacturing plants. That's right. And that boosted world trade, whether it was beaver skins, whatever the case may be, sugar cane, whatever was getting shipped internationally, we harvested it, man. That's right. You know? Everything about America was built and made great by the hands of so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That's right. right. And, and what we got to show for. Right, mm-hmm. I was just going to say, on the land that you stole from us anyway, and that's, but that's a heavy point because a lot of times Jake think that, that slavery was just about being in the cotton field. And of course that's rigorous labor. But if you start looking into a lot of these other things that Jake had to harvest, man, it's a lot more heinous ways that a nigga could have went out. You know, in particular, you know, I got a family that's Northern Kingdom from Puerto Rico. And, you know, up until my parent, my mother's generation, everybody prior to them, with sugar cane, we worked on the sugar cane plantation. All right, we talking about shit that was worse than sharecropping going on in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s. You know, motherfuckers making two or three dollars a day. Yep. And a lot of these indigo, another one. It, a lot of these 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 plants, they're so valuable because it's rigorous to, to produce and harvest them. Not just the fact that you got somebody foot in your ass. But the the conditions that's required for these plants to grow, the actual labor that goes into taking care of the plant, this shit ain't no joke, man. You will die just from the labor, not not even getting touched by nobody. It's funny because uh, was it Ethan who had all? It was a bunch of workers that had died from crushed collarbones from working too much. Shit, Ethan Mice, and that's ice. You know, when you going into that shit decay, their plantation was hard for man. They cut the they cut the night, yeah. They cut their life expectancy down as soon as you start working it, man. Hey, look at what they do to these niggas in California, right? Look what they do to these niggas that's in jail on the West Coast. Mm-hmm. They really had them niggas go out there and fight their fires. Yeah. As soon as they get out there, tell them they not qualified to do that shit. Yeah. The, look, man, a white man is the fucking devil, man. And, and not using no proper equipment. And that's another yep. thing, too, because it's a lot of things. And the scriptures say that, 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 that Jacob is the former of all things, roughly paraphrasing. But that like one thing one thing is that a lot of these um a lot of these technologies, a lot of these these apparatus or these methods, whether it's building or doing whatever, a lot of that came from Jake, man. Yeah. Like really product, all man. of it. Jake was like, man, this shit is too much. We gotta figure out a, a, a machine that can help us with this labor. Yeah. Like, like the cotton gym. Yeah. You know, man. Because and, and, and like I said, it's a lot of things that that, that people don't take into account. Because it's, 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 still, it's still an ecosystem around you. You know, Jake working in the fields, it's things in the field that will kill you, man. Yep. Yep. You know? In, in the sugar cane fields in particular, they got a, 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 a specific type of centipede that only really be around the sugar cane. And if that motherfucker touch you, it's over with. Jake got to be out there dealing with that type of shit. Got to deal with some shit jumping out the bush and grabbing their ass. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's a lot yeah. of, even when it come to like all of the pelt trapping and shit like that, th- these is rigorous activities, man. Th- this is shit you gotta put your life on the line to do. And a lot of times we don't respect that. That's why when, when, when motherfuckers wanna talk about getting a check for, from the government to try and uh, pay the labor off and shit, you, you, you're, you're stupid, bro. That, that wouldn't change nothing. Right? You're, you're stupid because number one, you can't pay for a life and it was, Millions of lives lost, number one. And number two, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. That's that's a that's we didn't give you a, niggas a bunch of a money. Very false balance. We didn't give you niggas two hundred thousand a piece. <laughs> Motherfuckers really had to put their blood and their guts on the line. And it was all for punishment. But the point of the matter is that that gotta be evened out, man. And you niggas are too stupid to be trying to take certain shit into account for yourself thinking that you know what was really lost, man. Hey, but now the scripture saying, like, even though, like, you made a point, you said it was punishment. Hey, the Lord said, but they helped forward the affliction. Esau made it worse just because he's the damn devil, man. Go ahead, man. And then, see, we're talking about just labor. We're talking about physical things. Let's start talking about the information, the knowledge that you can see. Esau didn't, didn't never come up with shit, man. All of this shit that's in this society, 
is a compilation of all of these other wicked ass societies of old. And all these other wicked ass societies of old, what they have, Jake on top, figuring all they shit out for him, just like today. Huh, Benjamin Franklin gets credited for all these adventures, but what he was, he was the head of the patent department. I was right. just gonna say, he's only created two things on this side. That's the patent office and niggas. And he figured out how, to, so he was still certain, uh, you know, certain shit. Yep. You know, he did that to Jake. That's why the phrase, the real McCoy exists. This ain't related to Benjamin Franklin, but it's what they do. Um, the real McCoy was was a, was a guy, a family, and from Canada, I believe. And they made these tools and shit. And they were superb. But people, he saw started making fake shit. So my brother's like, this is the real McCoy. They wanted the shit from this nigga. You know, Jake, Jake was crap, man. His name was Elijah. Yeah. Elijah McCoy. Yeah. Huh. Hey, say, hey, that's what he saw. They take over and, and put their company on it to pay. The nigga Jack Johnson made the monkey wrench. That's right. They call it a monkey wrench because a nigga made it, right? To this day, man. Then, then, then you got these different companies. His family ain't getting paid off for this wrench. Not at all. You know, you um, got to think of that company. They, they do the Jack, Jack Daniels uh, was in the same type of situation like this. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. That's another one. The shit, all these cars driving with combustion engines. Jake made that. The air conditioner, the remote. And, 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 and understand, even with these newer, these newer quote, quote unquote inventions, they got some some niggas in the back doing that shit, man. Oh yeah. And and, and see, like the brother Murph pointed out, with the patent office, and you know, I, I like my grandfather is an inventor, a, a self-styled inventor. So you know, I. I'd have oh, been, yeah. I'd have been explained on how to deal, oh, yeah. how, how dealing with these patent motherfuckers is. And, and Esau is, is, is so wicked that even when you invent something, for you to have the right to sell it in this country, and for somebody not to be able to just outright take your shit, quote unquote, that's what they say it's for. You got to go to them and you got to give them all your schematics and all of your recipes, all of the secrets that make your shit work. And then after a period of ten years. Anybody can use that information. And you guess what Esau do? Because he in charge of all of the manufacturing and all of the, 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 the mass scale shit to put your product out, he'll just blacklist you and freeze you out so that you can't never produce your product on a massive scale. And then once that 10 year expiration date happens, all these Edomites got this shit on the assembly line. Hey, they say that on uh, Shark Tank. They be like, well, what's not the interview just getting back and ask them to produce them myself? Why I got invested? In they asked the money, bro. Even the airplane. The uh, nigga, I think his name Lucian. He was a nigga. He had a plane that flew. He fought the Wright brothers. Right. But the Wright brothers got the, they got the complexion, man. That's right. So what they get the credit? They Shit. Get, get James Five. All these medical procedures. I think they said a black man yeah. did the car too. I had to double check on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, first yeah, he did. Yeah. Was yeah. The nigga. It uh, was right the, here in the, Chicago. The car, yeah. the car too. The car. The, um, what's the dude's name? I think his name is Latimer. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think, I think yeah, that's Yeah, he made a lot of things, man. You said James 5? Yeah, start the top. This is James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl, for your misery shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted. Your garments are mopped eat. Right, so you went, you, he saw put a lot of work and wisdom into making the system where he gets everything. He got all the gold, the silver, the diamonds, and he gave us paper currency. Right. And now even that is corrupt. You see the decline of his uh, his money that the U.S. dollar has on the world. Okay. Your gold and silver is cankered. The proverbial gold and silver is your dollars. And the rest of them shall be witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. So when we see the decline of this man's economy and his money, his riches, all right, that comes with what? It, 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 uh, it's a witness, it's a sign of your destruction coming. Right. Go ahead. We have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborer who have reaped down your field, which is of you kept back by fraud. There you go. So you so you got rich or holding your riches back from, from the Israelites essentially, and that's right. right with everybody else. That's right. Yeah. You defrauded us, man. You forced you fought for one, you beat us and forced us into hardcore bondage. Then you so-called released us. 
you fuck this over, all right, we get pennies on the fucking, we get pennies on the hundreds. So out of every hundred dollars, Jake is making three nickels. Yeah, I was right. say not pennies on the dollars. Right, right, pennies on a hundred, man. So we're gonna have to bring back the half penny for these niggas. Correct. Right. And meals. So you gotta, you gotta pay for that, man. You got to be brought low. You have to lose your, your power completely, man. Not just look at the destruction. The Lord is bringing plagues. The loops is the end all be all, man. Oh yes. That's a little more. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord. Sabaoth. Right, which means Lord of hosts, Lord of armies. Oh, so the, the Lord heard these, these cries, man. The Lord will come and redeem his children. That's what time we in. This is uh, the book of Lamentations 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Right, so everything that we have to go through, they're gonna have to go through. Okay? It says, verse 22, it says, The punishment of thine iniquities accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Right, because this is our last captivity here in America. That's not great. Right. It says, He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Right, uh, what's that? Deuteronomy 30 and 7? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Yeah, the curse is that's coming to find our enemies. You know? You see more Edomites bugged out out here, you know, crack cocaine than Jacob. Oh, yeah. Now is a problem because the took over the so called white community. White. Yeah, it's hard. Now they're giving you uh, safe ways to take your drugs. Here's here's a free crack pipe and needle. Yeah, they drugs. give, yeah. Oh. They ain't getting nigga shit for jail time. Um, DCFS. Extended sentences. Yeah. Bro, they, these Edomites be that. fucked up, falling out, and they'll send an ambulance and take them to the hospital and get them high. Yeah. Yeah. What's that, that, uh, that for a month. That thing, uh, that three strike rule that Joe Biden had passed back in the 90s. Yeah. That, yeah. Kamala Harris and Fortune. And Kmart, that bitch Kmart Harris. But all you simple ass niggas out here vote. And that's why it's so essential to understand the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of the Bible, because it will keep you away from shit like that, man. Hey, man, you, and you niggas is soft for, for reveling in the fact that a black woman is ruling over you. Yeah, why you like the fact that, that a bitch weak. in office anyway? This bitch got up here telling weak. you what to do. This Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, and Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and will put and on them that hate thee with persecuted thee. Right. That's what's happening right now. You have more heat than you It's a bad time to tell you, you're going to see a heat of my down out here that's, you know, drugged out. Right. Right. I see a you know? heat of my on the uh, on, on 94. Earlier today, this nigga was standing at the bottom of the exit. Even you, you even got Elon bagging money out here now. Oh, yeah. Elon, the different, uh, we saw a family of refugees. One day, not expressway. Well, I said, "Shit, I just went to sell your daughter." Untouchable. She was, good. she was like nineteen or something. So you, you walked up in that ancient way. <laughs> Look, I got yeah, the dollar. Surprise! You had some shackles. Surprise! Yeah. The bitch ain't selling. They do that shit. Walked up with them shackles on that bitch. Clacking, <laughs> clacking. Yeah, so we're coming into the town. We're seeing a downfall of our enemies. Calling the police on you, you ain't did shit, nigga get locked up. Regular. Nigga getting set up by a bitch and dying and getting robbed. Regular. Regular. Kids getting 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 busted and disgusted, getting getting disowned. Regular. All this shit is regular for us, and you niggas wanna keep you wanna stay here, man. They love it. Niggas waking up, eating hot crunchy girl. Right. Me and Yaki after that lesson yesterday before. Somehow LL Cool J was on. 
the way girl was playing. When he said he wanted a bitch, I forget the whole. Yeah, on the bus stop, on the lollipop, extensions in her hip. Well, with a little bit of attitude. With an attitude, yeah. Hey, you niggas gonna take the chip, man. You love, hey, what is saying the law? We say it. If you say love. you love your master, you love the wife that he gave you, yep. well, you're going to get that all. Well, you're going to take that digital all, man. You're going to take that chip. That's right. you love this shit. Yep. And say y'all belong to my master forever, man. That's the dimmer kibbles and bits that you niggas satisfied with. This you niggas sold yourself cheap for a false sense of hope and free doom. This one nigga said, this was his words. He said he had, his daughter going to be a bad bitch when she grows. That's what his, his aspiration for his daughter is, oh her God. being a bad yeah. bitch. The little girl is a baby, like oh, a disgusting. child or whatever. Disgusting, look man. And you niggas gonna get, get enough, it? you niggas gonna get enough of that beautiful trash, man. You gonna get enough of that shit. Yeah, you it's gonna be a lot of beautiful society. trash putting niggas in trash bags come January 1st. Oh yes. Mm Happy -hmm. kids in the society, more than likely. Yeah. Your son gonna be a sodomite when you're going to Right, be that's, a, that, on, that's a damn shame. Paying the government for 18 years and what, you, what did you buy? A mold. Huh, so Rock tells you. <laughs> so Rock tells you. Um, in real life. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Rock tells you. Um, don't judge a man. Don't judge a man. Unless you see his children. Hey, so you having a side of my tail or a horse daughter? That's a reflection on you. That means you failed. That's right. That means you failed. That's right. You definitely failed. Yep. He said, "Don't judge a man." Yep. That's that. That's a beautiful scripture, man. That's a beautiful scripture. That exactly what you feel, man. You got all these degenerates and fucking gang man. Who raised them? The black woman raised them. No doubt about it. Hey man, that's why, that's why when you in this truth, man, that's why brothers say fuck them kids, man. Cause if you bless, man, the Lord gonna take care of your kids and they not gonna be like that. They gonna be alright through the spirit, man. You know? So if, 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 if you're dealing with something where, where your little woman want to take your family away or, or want to fuck your life up, man, let her do it, man. The Lord got you and the Lord got them kids, man. I just said that in the lesson last night, man. I just said that whole thing. The Lord, listen, the man, listen. What the Lord tell Gideon, man? The angel of the Lord be with thee, almighty man of valor. With you, Howard Shasta. I've been saying this all week. Lo, I be with you even to the end of the earth. What Jonathan and his arm bearer said, the Lord is with us. What if, King David tell this Come bitch? on, man. Exactly. Who said, what did he say? The Lord did it. Who set me up over thy father. Mm -hmm. The fuck? The Lord with us, man. Look, I ain't look. That's where this shit starting. That's where it ends. Uh, and shit. not to disrespect my ancestors, but she was being a bitch to King David. She shit. was being a bitch. But to King David, you know, that was his woman. I ain't gonna speak bad on his woman. But right, that's why, he that's why I put the black balance yeah, on there. It's about, but he had the rebuke her. Yeah, she called him a basic ass nigga. She called him, she said he was acting like a nigga in the world. That's exactly what she said, man. For dancing for the Lord. Fuck these bitches. He said, that's why he said I did it before you and your father. Look at Joe's wife is being a demon. Come on, man. Hey, when you got um who was that? That was Sarah, right? She laughed, that's man. Bitch, she thought this shit was a joke. And matter after that, she lied. Immediately. And that's a righteous woman. So look, look, look. Well, look what we had today. And the scriptures honor Sarah as a righteous woman. They said you you should pattern yourselves after Sarah, man. Uh -huh. But look at the behavior, the natural behavior. That's why the scripture said it's a weaker vessel. Because she uh -huh. laughed then, she lied about it immediately, man. You niggas do not read, man. Is that Joe's wife? Yeah, I said, 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 <laughs> hey, up, you hoes ain't real hard. And you ain't nothing. And yeah, she was a hard lot. And what she did, she was on the roof getting the flex ready. Mean what? Come she on, made man. clothes. Come you on, bitches man. can't even do basic shit. Put herself on the line. You can't do what shit. Y'all crazy. I can't cook. I can't cook. What the fuck? What are you? You what are you? I call that the butt. That's a butt bitch. The bitch look good, but. But. The bitch got a fake butt. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, dude. Hey. Look, but she, she the snow. snow. 
I know she called your mama a bitch and got bro locked up for 50 years, but uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, that's how you niggas be tripping over the white woman too, man. And I love the white woman, but hey, look, man. All these bitches are wicked, man. Hi. I got a little something for you. This is Joel, 39 and 17. Because Yahweh have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. So what is she gonna tell you, man? You niggas, and see, that's and that goes back to what you just going into. That new generation is so good, man. That's why God was going to the snow the other day, right? Niggas ain't shit. Say, fuck the black woman. <gasps> yeah, man. The black woman's so wicked that that degenerate behavior is normal. Niggas ain't shit. You bitch, you talking about your daddy, your son, your granddaddy, your brother, your husband, your baby daddy. Every day. We the epitome of ridicule. But you niggas still want to drink this bath water and, and make her the head. Yeah, okay, she is the backbone of the community. Look at the community. Cripple, man. Uh, you niggas are crazy, man. Come to me, God. Ahead, this is the book of Proverbs 30 and 20. It says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth the wipe of her mouth and said, I have done no wickedness. Right? They don't have no accountability. You know them. Yep. Uh, for the things that they have done, they have no accountability. You know, they don't take action to what they do what they have done. shall be spoiled, all right. and all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. Con, which is plain. All you heathens are going down. That's so right. Read, I believe you read the second Maccabees. Who has yeah, not? Uh, first, first Maccabees 5, right. Who, who has not partaken in fucking Jerusalem up? You know, rough paraphrase. All right, because and all you heathens did that, so all you heathens are going to captivity. That's right. All you heathens are going to be a spoiler. Go ahead. For I will restore health unto thee. And that's reparations right here. Us get, getting health again, man, becoming a nation again, and ruling over our enemies. That's true reparations. That's right. Eye for eye, uh, tooth for tooth, life for life, strike for strike. That's right. You got to get paid back for what you've done to us, man. Hey, the right. apostle to our head brought it out probably last year, a couple of years ago, about the definition of being blessed. That's right. If you're blessed, you got to have slaves, That's man. Right. So Esau is blessed. We're not getting shit in this society. you got to have slaves to be blessed. So let go to that. Yeah. Just to say, also, these heathens, you know, disrespect us. Like, this is daily. Um, daily. This is the Elamite spot that has a direct on my crib. You know, I hand I this, this heathen this money in the sea. He don't know much on the table. You know, just to basically say how, what they think of us. You know, I almost slapped his ass, but, you know, I hear my people. Yeah, that's good about y'all. He's a chicken shop. He's a chicken shop. nigga fight that rap in the chicken shop, man. This bitch in the back getting broke down and shit. He's got Baba's all the Baba's lemonade all over the place. Lemonade's flying everywhere. Oh. This is Jeremiah 30 and 17. For I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord thy power. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Right, so money ain't going to change that. We'll still be in captivity. We'll still be looked at as, as nobodies. That's right. As nothing. That's right. But we're the chosen seed of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're made for his glory, man. The Lord is going to restore health unto us. The Lord is going to repair us. And that's the way reparations mean, to repair. That's right. You know? That yeah. money ain't gonna solve nothing. If he saw a couple checks, we'll take it. Yeah, for Not sure. if it's digital. <laughs> they don't want that digital all. 
<laughs> well, you play for church, you don't take me. We still gonna talk shit to your bitch ass. Yeah, no, right. you all in the mall. You know me. <laughs> oh, man, that shit, man. Right. that shit don't even come from the interest, nigga. You at, you, all. You, at all. At all. It's like the land, the blood. The land gonna be coming on your ass. This is a uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Well, I'll start at 9. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And hey, these damn devils are shit up here fucked us over all, all, all our lives. Hundreds of years. And sit up here and want to say thank you and all this other bullshit. <laughs> and, and, and think that is gonna that is gonna uh what? That we're gonna accept that bullshit? Hell no, we ready to put our foot in your ass. Right. Hell no, we ready to step on your neck. Right. Hell no, we want to sit up here and have the kingdom. You know? Fuck all that bullshit. Hey, the captivity, all the shit you put us through, you're about to go through, and it's gonna be double. And if I catch one of you niggas saying thank you, we gonna have a problem. Mm -hmm. No, you know we can't even grab that song. This time it has all the saints. The last. <laughs> this is the book of Psalms 149 and um, 6. It says, Let the high praise of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the evil and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor I have all his saints praise you. That's the honor right there, man. Right. Fuck your damn pennies, man. What kind? Y'all ass got a lot of reason y'all got off our backs. You can our forefathers got you can't put a number on it, man. Right. Alright? They talk about two hundred thousand. And then you gotta prove that your that your Yeah, yeah, they're gonna, gonna make it, they're gonna make it, they're gonna make you have to prove that you can believe so. And, and and that lets you know, see, these Edomites, they got a record. Of who every one of you niggas is, man. Huh. Going all the way back to your initial bill of sale. Yeah. And you niggas wanna uh make deals with these niggas. And, oh yeah. And and, and, and and that's heavy you brought that out, because that's really how Esau really be getting down. And a lot of you niggas are really be uh had your feelings hurt. And a, and another another thing a lot of Jacob end up finding out is that a lot of these motherfuckers walking around calling themselves black is really Northern Kingdom. And Esau I had to tell you. And that. that's another that's thing. So uh, us reparations wouldn't benefit us as a nation because what about the rest of the fucking 12 tribes, man? That's right. Not fucking 12 tribes, like it. What about the rest of the holy children of Israel? All right? They talking about paying back blacks. That's one nation. That's right. What about our brothers who land you still fucking own? That's what right. about our, and, and they ain't just talking about natives because Mex Mexico went far up to Canada. Yeah. 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 Washington State. Yeah. That's why the scripture say, you know, we don't, we don't have to ask anything. You know, we're going to take it. That's why the scripture say, you know, the saints of the most high shall take, take the kingdom. kingdom. And that's that so much sweeter. They that's tell way us. much sweeter. This is exactly. sweeter, man. We're paying the iron yes. price in this motherfucker, man. What that nigga say, iron or gold? <laughs> and that's the only way that, that, that you can really... That's the only way you can really not be in captivity no more is by taking it back. You know? If, yeah, if, you he, just, if he just stepped off and, and, and then be like the same thing with, with, with a nigga getting some money. Like the elder friend just said, you, you can get all the money you want. You're still a slave. Yep. And all these niggas figure it out when they uh, make their little deals behind the door. And then them niggas end up going to Europe or something to go shopping. And they got niggas following. Oprah got a motherfucker following her in the store and shit. Because they don't want a black hand stealing nothing. That, 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 that. See, unless you take it, uh, unless the Lord let us take it back, these heathens not going to never have no respect. Exactly. Exactly. That was a beautiful analogy, too. That being said, we don't give us edifying, we're running off by giving all praise on the glory to you. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, we're back with us. Until next time, Wah, Ababa, Ababa. Ababa, Ababa.